Lice are tiny insects, typically measuring a few millimeters in length. They have a flattened body shape, which allows them to move easily through the hair or feathers of their hosts. They are obligate ectoparasites, meaning they live on the outer surfaces of their hosts. They feed on the blood or skin secretions of their host, relying on regular blood meals for survival. Different species of lice are specialized to infest specific host species. Hemiptera is an order of insects, commonly called true bugs, comprising over 80,000 species within groups, entomologists reserve the term bug for these animals. Most hemipterans feed on plants, using their sucking and piercing mouthparts to extract plant sap. Some are blood-sucking, while others are predators that feed on other insects or small invertebrates. The pharaoh cicada has a distinct coloration. The body is mostly black and the eyes are large with a reddish in color. This species is commonly found in wooded areas. Like other cicadas, it has a complex life cycle. The nymphs live underground, where they feed on tree root sap for several years. After a specific period, usually ranging from 13 to 17 years, the nymphs emerge from the ground as adults in large numbers. Plants are essential for the Brazilian treehopper's life cycle. There are numerous ways that these females can lay their eggs. This species has very apparent, globular appendages coming out of its thorax. Entomologists are still not certain about why these treehoppers have these appendages, however, it has been proposed that the appendages protect them by deterring their predators. Kissing bug is a hematophagous insect, meaning it feeds on the blood of vertebrate animals. It is primarily active at night and is attracted to the carbon dioxide and heat emitted by its hosts. It typically bites exposed areas of the body while its host is sleeping. It is of particular concern because it is a vector for the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi, which causes Chagas disease. When the insect feeds on an infected host, it can transmit the parasite through its feces. If the feces contaminate a person's skin or mucous membranes, the parasite can enter the body and cause infection. Firebug has a distinctive red and black coloration, the red coloration serves as a warning signal to potential predators. They are herbivorous insects that primarily feed on the sap of plants. They have a specialized feeding apparatus called a rostrum, which they use to pierce plant tissues and suck out the plant juices. Also, they are known for their aggregating behavior, often forming large clusters on plants, especially during the summer months. These aggregations serve several purposes, including thermoregulation, protection from predators, and mating opportunities. They can emit a strong odor when disturbed, 
which acts as a defensive mechanism against potential threats. Hymenoptera is a large order that comprise wasps, bees, and ants. Over 150,000 living species have been described, in addition to over 2,000 extinct known ones. They originated in the Triassic, but social hymenopterans appeared during the Cretaceous. Horned ant were fast-moving arboreal predators that would have fed mainly on other invertebrates and fruits, and unlike most modern ants their workers were probably solitary hunters. They were capable of gaping their mandibles by almost 180 degrees, and when they got close enough to their targets the long sensory hairs around their faces triggered their jaws to snap vertically upwards, impaling their prey against their horn in a unique trap jaw mechanism. Titanomerma was one of the largest known ant genera, with some species reaching impressive sizes. The queen ants could grow up to several centimeters in length. Like modern ants, they lived in complex social colonies. They had a hierarchical system with different castes, the queens were responsible for reproduction, while the workers performed tasks such as foraging, nest building, and caring for the brood. They likely played an important role in their ecosystems as predators and scavengers. Slaver ants, like the Ploiergus, are characterized by their habit of raiding nests for workers. The workers are incapable of caring for brood, for the most part due to their dagger-like, piercing mandibles. As such, they have evolved to rely on certain species of ants in the genus Formica. They have lost the instinct for carrying out even rudimentary brood care, and even for feeding themselves. Polyergus exist more as a force of improvised soldiers, acting in essence solely to raid the Formica nests. The captured ants are generally referred to as slaves in scientific and popular literature, though recent attempts have been made to apply other human cultural models. Exploding ant can explode suicidally and aggressively as an ultimate act of defense, an ability it has in common with several other species in this genus and a few other insects. The ant has an enormously enlarged mandibular gland, many times the size of a normal ant, which produces defense adhesive secretions. Many insects, notably bees, collect and store liquid for use at a later date. However, these insects store their food within their nest. Honeypot ants are unique in using their own bodies as living storage, used later by their fellow ants when food is otherwise scarce. When the liquid stored inside a honeypot ant is needed, the worker ants stroke the antennae of the honeypot ant, causing the honeypot ant to regurgitate the stored liquid from its crop. Myrmecocystis nests are found in a variety of arid environments. Driver ants are relatively large compared to many other ant species, the soldiers, which have larger heads and mandibles, are typically larger than the workers. They are known for their nomadic behavior. Instead of building permanent nests, they establish temporary nests made of living bodies of worker ants. These nests are constantly on the move in search of food sources, and the entire colony can relocate over a period of days or weeks. When on the move, they form long columns or swarms consisting of millions of individuals, it can be intimidating and have a significant impact on the local ecosystem. Leafcutter ants are named for their ability to cut leaves from a wide range of plant species. 
The workers use their mandibles to precisely cut leaf fragments, which they carry back to the nest. These leaf fragments are then used as a substrate for cultivating a fungus called Luco agaricus, which serves as their primary food source. They have a mutualistic relationship with the fungus they cultivate. They provide the fungus with fresh leaf fragments, and in return, the fungus provides them with a nutritious, specialized mycelium that the ants feed on. Regarded as a relatively primitive ant species, red bull ants are known to be solitary predators that are occasionally uncooperative with one another, whose social behavior is poorly developed in comparison to more advanced species. They are notoriously aggressive hunters able to subdue formidable prey such as bees and other ants. Unlike most other ant species, red bull ants lack the ability of chemical senses, however, this is compensated by their extremely keen vision with which they can spot and respond to intruders two meters away. The most distinctive feature of turtle ants is their specialized head, which is flattened and expanded. It acts as a protective shield and allows them to navigate narrow crevices and move through dense vegetation. They have large mandibles that they use for various tasks, including defense and foraging. They are primarily herbivorous and feed on plant exudates, such as nectar, sap, and honeydew. They have a mutualistic relationship with scale insects and aphids, which produce honeydew that the ants consume. One of the most remarkable aspects of the emerald cockroach wasp is its unique reproductive strategy. The female seeks out cockroaches as a host for its offspring. It stings the cockroach in precise locations to temporarily paralyze its front legs and prevent it from escaping. Then it injects a neurotoxin venom that targets the cockroach's escape behavior, making it docile and more easily manipulated by the wasp. After the egg hatches, the wasp larva feeds on the living cockroach. It consumes non-vital organs first, ensuring that the host remains alive and fresh for as long as possible. German wasps are highly social insects and live in colonies. They typically construct their nests in sheltered locations, such as in tree hollows or wall cavities. The nests are made of chewed wood fibers and saliva, creating a paper-like material. They are omnivorous and feed on a variety of food sources. They are known to scavenge on sugary substances such as fruits and nectar, but they are also attracted to protein-rich food. German wasps can exhibit aggressive behavior when their nest or colony is threatened. They can sting multiple times, and their sting is known to be painful. When a wasp stings, it releases alarm pheromones that signal other wasps to join the defensive response. Asian giant hornets are significantly larger than other hornet and wasp species. They have a distinctive orange-yellow head with prominent eyes and a yellowish-orange and black-striped abdomen. They are predators and feed primarily on other insects. They are particularly notorious for their ability to decimate honeybee colonies. Asian giant hornets have powerful stingers and mandibles, which they use for defense and capturing prey. When their nest or colony is threatened, they can become highly aggressive and attack in mass.
Once the most prevalent bumblebee in the southern United States, populations of American bumblebee have decreased significantly in recent years. Overall, the population has dropped nearly 90% in just the last 20 years. It tends to live and nest in open farmland and fields. It feeds on several food plants, favoring sunflowers and clovers, and functions as a pollinator. Its decline leads to reduced pollination rates, which negatively impact the reproduction and fruiting of many plant species. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Japanese honey bee is its unique defensive behavior against the Japanese giant hornet. When a hornet scout enters their hive, the honey bees respond by forming a thermal defense. They quickly swarm around the hornet, vibrating their flight muscles to generate heat. This heat effectively raises the temperature at the center of the ball to a lethal level, killing the hornet through thermal stress. European honey bees are highly valued for their honey production. They are bred and managed by beekeepers worldwide for honey extraction. They collect nectar from flowering plants, process it within their bodies, and store it in honeycombs as a food source for the colony. They play a crucial role in pollination, transferring pollen from the male parts to the female parts, the pistils of flowers, enabling plant fertilization and fruit production. Theses bees communicate with each other through a complex system of pheromones, dances, and sounds. They are also known for their remarkable navigation abilities, using the sun's position and polarized light patterns to orient themselves and navigate back to the hive. 